Hi everyone, this is Devabrata once again and today I will continue my classes on linked list. So as a prerequisite, I want to say like uh, the previous two classes of the linked list will be needed where we have checked uh, how to create the linked list, how to work with those, what are the basic functionalities of uh, linked list we have checked in those two classes. So th obviously those two classes will be required. On the top of that, if you know something about array, that will also be good, actually. So for your reference, I have shared one, one link in the description section of this class uh, for the selection shot and bubble shot on array. So just take a look how we can perform selection shot and bubble shot on the top of array. Uh, that knowledge actually will be needed today. So we want to short the link list today with the, with the same approach like what we do for an array so this series of classes of link list i am assuming you have the basic knowledge of java okay you can i have also shared one link in the description section for the java playlist if you are not feeling good with the java you can go through that playlist as well but i i do not need uh like an i, mean, I do not need a very good knowledge in the Java. I just need a basic knowledge of the things in Java that will be okay for these classes. Okay. So for the timing, I do not need, like you need to do everything with the array. It will be good if you just know what is selection shot, what is bubble shot on array, and that is enough. I have, I have mentioned that specified class itself. So if you do not have time to go through the full playlist, then it will be okay if you can just go check that uh, only that class on the shorting what we do with the array because we are going to use the same logic. Anyhow, I will try to explain today as well. But uh, in that class, I described a lot. But let's let's start. And uh, this is this is going to be our third class. As I mentioned earlier, like uh, as per my experience, I have checked, we generally require three classes to understand the link list fully. Before that, I have seen people are not able to write their own programs. So after three classes, they actually start writing their, their first program. So it is it is my experience. If you feel already comfortable with the linked list, then it's very good. If you are really, uh, if you are already start, have written your first program on linked list by yourself, that is good. Otherwise, if you are still not able to write the programs in linked list, just hold for some more time. For this class as well, just try to, understand what i'm writing just try to understand i think that will be enough for for the day okay uh, today i'm going to show you a few more tougher things i will say how to do the shorting over the link list how to reverse a link list i'm going to show you those kind of things and i think that is the ultimate toughest thing in the link list uh, whatever you will get during the interview round that will be the, those questions will be easier than this so but still uh let me show let me start uh, this class and i will show you how to do those tough things here okay and that would be the maximum don't worry just check and try to understand that's all do not think like how can i write the program do not think like that so shorting a link list before going into the shorting of link list uh i just want to say uh, it will be very good if you know already how we can short an array so we will basically use the same logic here. So if I start with the selection shot, so let me go to the blue Java. You can use any compiler as per as per your choice. So I'm just trying to create a class with selection shot. Where I, I just want to first, I want to write the code for selection shot over an array. So if I just start writing that code, I will not explain a lot here because I hope you have the basic knowledge of array, but still quickly I will show you how we can do the shorting over array. So I'm not taking any input. I'm, I'm taking a static array because it will save us some time uh, from taking input. So here it is. So I am taking one array like this. And how to short an array? So just you need to define something i equals to zero. And I will be moving till, okay, if it is a five length, I, I will move 
from 0 to 3 means from here 0, 1, 2, 3. So I will move into first four elements of the array. Considering we have five elements in the array. And each time J will move, let me write, J will move from the next position, from the next position of I, means I plus 1, and it will move till the last position. Array is starting from 0. So the last position of an array will be 4. So every time I'm going to check if AI is greater than AJ or not. If AI is greater than AJ somehow, then what I will do? I will swap those values simply. So AI equals to AJ and I hope you know those things. So this is how we can swap two values. Okay, it is not temp. Let me take it T. Yeah. So now if I want to print the elements of the array, how it will look, let me show you. So I will just uh, print all the elements. So it will be say for in time, you know, I less than equals to four. Array always starts with uh, zero, so I will be iterating from zero to four. So now let's understand what I'm trying to do. So if I refer to this code and let me start with an array like uh, same array 50, 30, 40, 20, 10. So I will be starting from here. You can see I is starting from zero. So I will be starting from here. And I will iterate 0 to 3 means I will iterate till this element 0, 1, 2, 3. I will iterate till this element. Okay. So if I try to draw that thing, so the range of I will be something from here to here. Okay. And how J will traverse? J is starting from I plus 1. And it is iterating till the last element, that is fourth element. So J here will be starting from here, I plus 1, and it will iterate till the end. So every time I'm comparing AI with AJ. So that means I'm going to compare like this. First, these two elements will be compared, AI with J. So AI will be compared with all the values of J. So here J is iterating from I plus 1 till the last element means this is the range of the J. If I just draw again, so if I just highlight again, so this is the range of J. So first I will be compared with this value of J. Then I, then I will compare with this value of J. Then I will compare with this value of J. And then I will compare with this value of J. So J will be from I plus 1 till the end means 4 here because we are dealing with 5 elements. So now every time I'm checking if AI is greater than AJ or not. If AI is bigger, then we will swap. So let me put the same logic here. 50 is greater than 30. Answer is yes. So 50 will be swapped with 30. So next, 30 is greater than 40. No, 30 is not greater than 40. So then 30 is greater than 20. Yes, 30 is greater than 20. So 30 will come here and 20 will go there. Next, 20 is greater than 10. Answer is yes. So 10 will come here and 20 will go to the last place. That's the first thing. So now I again will move forward and it will compare with rest of the values of J because J is iterating from I plus 1 to, for, uh, to the last value that is 4. So J will be, the range of J will be this. Got it. So here as well, what I, what I will do, I will again going to compare the same values. Suppose I with all the values of J. Let me try to draw something. Something like this. So again, if I compare 50 is greater than 40, answer is yes. So it will be swapped. 40 will come here, 50 will go there. 40 is greater than 30. 
Answer is yes. So, 30 will come here. 40 will go there. Next, 30 is greater than 20. Answer is yes. So, 20 will go here and 30 will go to the last position. And that's all. So, let me go forward. I will come here. And what will be the value of J now? J will be I plus 1 till the last element. So, J will take these two values. So, now again, I will be going to compare with all the values of J. So, if I try to draw something like this, so this will be two comparison. So, first 50 will going to compare with 40. 50 is greater than 40. Yes. So, 40 will come here. 50 will go there. Next, 40 is greater than 30. Yes. So, 30 will come here and 40 will go to the last position. So, again, I will come here. So, this is the last value of I. If you can remember, if you check this red line, I have I, I have told you like I will be going till the second last of the element. So here as well, you can see I is going till the second last of element. So if I do that, now the J will be I plus 1 till the last value. You can see I plus 1 till the last value. So obviously we are left with one value only. So just we are going to do that. Only one com comparison this position, this i is going to check with this j. So, 50 is greater than 40. Yes, 50 is greater than 40. Then swap 40 and 50. So, this thing will work like that. So, if I run this code, it should, it should short out the array. So, you can see an array with a shorted order like 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Let's explore. First, let's check how it behaves with the array. Then we are going to apply the same logic for linked list. So if I run it, this program will not take any input. It will simply do that shorting and print the output like 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So it is shorting this thing successfully. So if I just want to apply the same logic in the linked list and before that, I want to do one thing just to check one thing. Instead of three, I can give four as well. It doesn't matter. Suppose, suppose why I have given four. If I, okay, uh, let's, let's uh, skip that part. Three is okay. Or uh, four is even also okay. If I, uh, if I just compile, you can see, means if you can, if I put four, means if I goes till the last element, still it will work. Why? Let me explain that thing as well. So, our idea should be very clear with the selection short, with the bubble short. If it is with linked list or array, our idea should be clear because in the interview round, they might check it from all the sides, from all the aspects they might check. So, now if I goes to the last element, so there will be no J, means J will be I plus 1 till the last element. So, J should be starting from here. So there will there are no elements, but J should be less than equals to four as well. So we will not find we will not going to find any J. So it will be a blank iteration. If I goes to the last element, nothing will happen. No error as well. Okay, so that was the thing. So now if I just going to apply the same logic here in our link list. Okay, first let me copy this. It will be helpful. Let me copy this. I will just going to copy and paste that same thing. But yeah, it will be something different with the with the link list because link list looks like an alien thing. So need to understand how we can put the same logic here. So I'm just writing a new function called void selection short. Obviously, our i and j will not be integers anymore. They will be node type of thing. You can take temp, temp1 as well, but for the timing, I'm putting i. So, instead of 0, it will be starting from head. Instead of giving a number, I can mention like i will not be equals to null. It will go till the end. Here as well, j will be starting from the next element of i. That means, that means i dot next. So, i plus 1, it is not an integer. It will be the next element. Means, i will be starting from the first element. 
j will be starting from the next to i and it will also go till the end and every time how they will increase i equals to i dot next and here j equals to j dot next simply and every time here i am going to compare like i dot data is greater than j dot data you can instead of i and j you can also take temp and temp one whatever you, you feel good with so i am putting i and j just to have a similarity with array so i do not need to remember it separately like for array this is the logic for um link list this is the logic so i'm just making the same thing so that's all if i compile i just it will work fine yeah so what i did the same thing suppose now if you have a link list here let me make some gap and link list what will happen let me draw the link between that i'm not drawing today that uh, big boxes so there will be some link like this I'm trying to minimize my drawing because in the interview round, it will also take some time to draw some diagram. I'm trying to save that time as well. I'm trying to make you pro, like how to think it more quickly, how to think it more wisely. So let's check more programs of Linguist so that you will be comfortable on that. So here, if you can see the program on the side, so I is starting from here and J is starting from here i dot next j equals to i dot next if you can probably see j is starting from here j equals to i dot next the same thing so if i dot data is greater than j dot data so it is swapping so okay let me shuffle this word shuffle this value suppose 20 suppose here 10 and here 30 so the same thing happening so j is starting from the next value of i 50 is greater than 40 yes so it will be swap. Next, j equals to j dot next. So j will proceed further. So again, 40 is greater than 20. Yes. So swap 20 will come here. 40 will go there. And j equals to j dot next. Again, 20 is greater than 10. Yes. So 10 will come here. And 20 will go there. And j equals to j dot next. 10 is greater than 30. No. Then do nothing. And j will go to the null. So when j is null, it is done. So now the outer loop will execute. I will go to the next part. And again, j will be starting from i dot next. Means j will start from here. And it will keep doing the same thing like an array. And in the meantime, in the in the return, we, we can short out the link list. So let's let's explore if it is really happening or not. So let me clear on the drawings. Let me minimize that. And now if I create a link list with my name. And let me check. Uh, let me insert few things. First, arbitrary value. Suppose I am inserting 50. I am inserting 30. I am inserting 20. I am inserting 40 and 10 five values so if i want to first display how it looks obviously it will look like this 50 30 20 40 10 so now if i do selection shot if i click on that yeah something happened now if i click on display so it should be like 10 20 30 40 50 look it become shorted so we have successfully applied selection shot on link list and that was our purpose it is it looks very much similar with an array so if you are good with the array you can apply the same logic here got it so if i go to our slide the second thing will be bubble shot so how to do that in array let's explore that first let me again go to uh, let me also create a new program. Okay. Let me do one thing. Let me copy this structure. It will be easier for me. I'm a lazy person. I do not like to write much. So if I just create another class, bubble short, and 
I want to do the same thing here, but with an array. And after that, I will going to apply that in linked list. So here I have the similar array, but the logic obviously will be different. Let me write that logic first. So here I'm going to write something for int j equals to running from 0 to 3. I'm considering the array with five values. In general, it should be something like a dot length something, but I'm not giving that because my purpose is not to short this out in case of array. My purpose is to just check the basic uh, algorithm, how we solve the thing in array, put the same logic in case of linked list. So my idea is not to make it general, so not to make it uh, a dot length something. So I'm just putting my values. So J is iterating from zero to three. And every time after that, it is going J plus plus. So, and here, what I'm doing every time I'm checking if AJ is greater than AJ plus one, if the number is bigger than the next number, if a number is bigger than the next number, then I'm just simply swapping them. Let me explain again with the diagram. But let me write the program first here. So what I'm doing, if I go to here, let me delete everything. So suppose I have a, I have an array like this, 50, 30, 40, 20, 10. So now I am starting J from here, 0 to 3. So J will run from here to here every time. Okay. So, I'm just running it from here to here. So, now, every time J is checking with the next value. So, 50 is greater than with 30 or not. If 50 is greater than 30, then what I'm doing? I'm just swapping. 30 is coming here, 50 is going there. J is proceeding. 50 is greater than 40, yes. So, swap. 40 will come here, 50 will go there. J is proceeding. 50 with 20, 50 is greater than 20, yes, so 20 will come here, 50 will go there. So now J will go to the next place, 50 and 10, 50 is greater than 10, yes, so 10 will come here, 50 will go there. So I will iterate J till this point, till this point. I will not go into this part because otherwise it will fail, it will give an error message because it will not find anyone as J plus 1. It will Whenever it will try to access j plus 1, it will give some error. Whenever it will try to access a j plus 1, it will give the error. It will say like, okay, failing. I cannot find anyone here. Array index out of bound exception. Something it will give. So that's why I'm putting j until this point. That's why I will find something at j plus 1 position. So if I do this thing four times, then... I can basically short out this array. So let me do that once again. 30. So it is the first time I have done. So now it is the second time I'll be doing that. So second time, what will happen? So J and J plus 1. So 30 is greater than 40? No. Then proceed. 40 is greater than 20? Yes. So swap. 20 will come here, 40 will go there. So every time it will check the value, the next value actually. So 40 with 10, 40 is greater than 10, yes. So 10 will come here, 40 will go there. So J will come to this position. 40 and 50, 40 is greater than 50, no, skip it. Generally it is, it is not. Last value is already fixed. So now again, I will go to, go to the start and third time I'm going to do that thing. 30 is greater than 20? Yes. So swap. J will go to the next place. 30 greater than 10? Yes. So 30 is greater than 10. So it will be swap. 30 greater than 40? No. Basically, in the link in the in the bubble shot, I have shown in the earlier array classes or even in Google, whatever you can see, it will stop the iteration 
here because there is no need to check these two values. Here we are checking like, okay, 30 is greater than 40. No, I'm going to the last place and checking 40 is greater than 50. No, but in general, after the first turn, 50 is going to its place. So there is no need to compare that. After the second turn, 40 placed at its, its original place where it has to be. So there is no need to check these two things. In actual bubble shot programming, the J do not traverse till this point. Generally, they are ended here. But here I'm traversing intentionally till the end. Okay, so it will be different because in case of linked list, we cannot stop in between. We cannot stop at second position. We cannot stop at third position. That is beyond of our control. That's why every time I'm checking what will happen if I go every time till the second last element. So I'm just trying to do the same. So now for the fourth time, I'm doing this iteration. So J is again starting from zero and going till the second last element. So 20 is greater than 10. Answer is yes. So 10 will come here, 20 will go there. So basically our conventional bubble shot, what we have learned in the array classes, if you know something, should be ended up here. But for this programming, I have an intention to apply this logic for linked list. So that's why I'm proceeding just to check if it is giving any error or not. If I proceed, though it is a just a waste of time to check these things because these are already in place. So there will be nothing will be swapped. But still, let me check. 20 is greater than 30. No. 30 is greater than 40. No. Move J to the last position, the uh, second last position. Uh, 40 is greater than 50. Answer will be no. Obviously, it is quite obvious. So that's all. So after doing this four times, I can say the array is shorted. So now why four times? Because we have a length of five. If we have a length of six, we have an array with length six, then we have to do this same thing five times. So how to control this fourth time or something? If I can write something here, suppose with some other variable in i with the help of the variable i, again i is also going from zero to three, just to control the four times. Okay, so I need to do this task for four times and I is just doing a help. There is no relation between J and I. So basically, I need to do these steps four times. That's why I have introduced I. It is not like the selection shot. In selection shot, <coughs> there was a relation between I and J. But here, I and J having no relation at all. So I is just helping to do this thing four times. That's all. So if I... Okay, first let me check if it is really uh, shorting this array or not. Let me close, let me clear the drawing here. Yeah. If I run, let me first check if it is really giving me the desired answer. Yes, it is 10 to 50 in a shorted way. So now if I copy the same logic in our linked list program, so let me go to the link list and let me create some function called void uh, bubble shot. And here, if I copy the same logic, and now if I try to write the logic for um, link list, so obviously our I will be starting from head and it will go to the second last element. So at that part, I need to write i dot next not equals to null and i equals to i next. So what I did basically, so suppose it is our link list. Suppose it is our link list. Let me draw it in a way of link list. And if I put some arrow in between, suppose it is our link list. So now I will be starting from here. I next not equals to null. Yes, I next is, I can see I next is 20. So I next is not equals to null, true. I next not equals to null, true. I next not equals to null, true. 
I next not equals to null. True. Go inside the loop. True. And here if I go, I next not equals to null. False. I next equals to null here. So for this, it will not go inside of this for loop because the first condition is false. So it will iterate basically till this point. When it will go to the 50, it will fail. Same for array as well. Don't think it is the rule of uh, linked list only. If it is i0 to 3, so when I will go to the last position, it becomes 4. And then it will check if i is less than 3. Answer is no. So it will be stopped. Anyhow, it will go to the last position. Then it will be false in case of array or linked list. But again, my purpose is today linked list. So I am writing this, this criteria. When i next becomes null, it will be stopped. So for the last node, I am going, not going to do anything. So till the second last node, it will do the same thing. If you remember, we put the same logic for insert at, uh, uh, for a delete at ending as well. If you remember, we did the same thing here for delete at ending. If you remember, temp next not equals to him. Same thing, because we wanted to stop at the second last element. Okay, uh, we, we wanted to stop for the last element. We want to do everything till the second last element. Okay. So here, now, J will be doing the same thing. J will be starting from head. I need to iterate it till the second last element. When the last element will come, it should be stopped there. So the same logic, same logic like I, J equals to J dot next. Same logic. Both of them are iterating in case of array, iterating till second last of element loop i equals to 0 to 3, j also 0 to 3. So I do not want the last element to be executed. So here as well, I am for both i and j, it is starting from the start, starting from the head and iterating till the last, second last element. Because when it will come to the last element, the array, the loop is stopped because i dot next becoming null. When it is coming to 50, when i or j is coming to 50, it is stopped because the next of this node is null. So it will iterate till i dot next not equals to null or j dot next is not equals to null till that point. Okay, so I have to write node i and node j and here simply I will do the same thing. But this time j dot data and j plus 1 means j dot next dot data. No relation with i. So next data, next node, the data of the next node. So what I will do now, I will just go into swap then j dot data. Now here j dot data equals to j dot next dot data. I'm just going to compare. I'm just going to do this for four times. If we have four data, if we have six data, we are going to do the same for five times, something like that. So I is controlling that part only. And that's how I'm just swapping those. That's all. So I is starting from head and going to the second last node. It is controlling that this loop, if the link list is with five elements, it is going to do this, do this iteration for four times. And all the rest of the work has is being done by J, similar like an array. So if I compile and if I run, okay, first let me insert some, okay, first let me create a link list by my name, suppose Kuha. And let me insert few random values. Insert attending, suppose I have given 50. 30, 40, 10, and the last value as 20. So if I just display, obviously it will show us haphazard numbers like I have entered 550, 30, 40, 10, 20. But if I click on bubble shot this time, not selection shot, it should be shorted. Let me check. 
Now, if I click on display, it should be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 look. So from outside, user will never know if it is a link list or if it is an array inside or an array list even. But inside, the, the structures are different. For outsiders, for the users, they are all just the numbers. But we have to put the same algorithm, but in some different methodologies, different structures. In array, the syntax will be different. For link list, the syntax will be different. But for the users, it will be just the shorting of few numbers. They can only see 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. They didn't even realize inside it is array or inside it is link list. So you can see the algorithm, the logic will always be same. Yeah, the syntax will be a bit different, but most of us stuck with the logic. So this is the logic and same with the array. So now if I go to the slide, next slide, we do not have a lot of topic, only two topic for this today. So the second topic and the last topic is how to reverse a link list. Means reverse printing, not originally reverse. How to print a link list reversely. Actually, it is not possible to go backward in a link list. It is not possible. So let me do one thing. Let me first draw a diagram. Then I can explain. It will be easier for me. So if I go to first to the link list and let me create a diagram for display, say reverse display. I'm not doing the re actual reversing of this link list. Instead of that, I just want to print it in a reverse loop. So let me write that. And after that, quickly, let me create a diagram. So I quickly, uh, I quickly draw something, uh, some diagram, it will help us to write this program. So first, if in the reverse display, if the Head is null. Obviously, we are going to print like uh, list is empty. Otherwise, we are going to print in this way. First, we will start temp from the head. And we will go till the temp next not equals to null. Let me close this one. Yeah. So, temp equals to starting from head. And it will go till temp next not equals to null. So, again... So temp will be starting from here. Temp will go till it is not it is not reach till the end. So here, if I just draw it here, temp will start from here. And just a minute, something wrong here. Now it's okay. Okay. So temp will start from here, and temp next is not null. Go. Ah, something is going to happen wrong. Just give me a minute to fix it. Yeah, now it's working. So temp is starting from head and temp next not equals to null. No. So here temp next not equals to null. No. I can see something is there at temp next. I can see something is pointing to the next node. So it is not null. So temp will further go. So temp next equals to null. No, I can see uh, it is not null. Obviously, temp next not equals to null. So here, when it goes, it will say like temp next not equals to null. No. So here, temp next is null. You can see temp next is null here. Okay. So it will going to stop here. It will no more iterate. So here, when it will be stopped here, so I'm just going to print the temp dot data. So what is what it will print? It will print 40. It is going to print 40. Okay. So now, but how I can go reverse? Okay, let me do one thing. Let me define temp outside of the else block, outside of the for loop. Otherwise, it is not able to find uh, who is temp. Now it will work. So I can print 40, but from here, how can I go back to 30? Because link list is always, always goes forward. It will never come backward. Okay, so we cannot achieve it using single loop. So we need to introduce something else that is called end. So 
let me introduce that new block, new node. It will be also looks like a box. I have introduced it as node end. So it will also look like head. It will also look like temp. But initially, I put end equals to null. And here, I put temp next not equals to end. So again, it is going to be the same because end and null are same. So it is again going to stop here. Again, the temp will be starting from head and it will keep checking the temp next equals to null or temp next equals to end, whatever you can say. Temp next equals to null, temp next equals to null. So here it will be going for temp next equals to null. So it will stop here. So now what I will do after printing 40, I am just updating end equals to temp. So I am putting end here. So next time when again temp will start from head, I need to rerun this for loop. How? I am showing you. But for the time being, if it again starts, like temp starts from head again, and if it keeps keep going forward, temp next not equals to end. Yes. Here, 10, 10's next is not end. It is 20. So go forward. Temp next not equals to end. Yes, 20 is pointing to 30, not to the end. Yes, go forward. Temp next not equals to end. False. Now, temp is pointing to the end. End is 40. I have already defined that last time. So, temp next is now pointing to end. You can see even clearly here. 30 is pointing to the end node. So, now I will be stop here. And outside the loop, I'm printing temp data. So that means it is going to print 30, where temp is stopped. And as a last step, what I will do, I will mark that with end. Like now, end will come here at that part of temp. And again, temp will start from head. And this part, this for loop, these things will keep running for multiple times until end reach out to the head until end collapse with head. So let me explain. Let me show you the full dry run. So now what will happen? Again, temp will start from head and it will keep checking temp next equals to not equals to end. Yes, 10 is pointing to 20. It is not an end. It will go forward. Temp, not equal, temp next not equals to end. No. Temp next is now pointing to end. So stop here. Go outside of the loop. Print the temp data. So temp, what is temp data now? Temp is standing on 20. So the data will be printed like 20. And as a last line, it will be like end equals to temp. So end will come on the top of temp. That's all. So now end and head become same. No, not till now. End and head is different. So again, start this thing. Temp will be starting from head again. And keep going. Temp next not equals to end. Unfortunately, temp next equals to end. So the for loop started and immediately stopped. So it will, temp will not go further because at the starting itself, temp next is pointing to end. I want to run it until temp next is not equals to end. But now temp next is already end at the starting itself. So I will not going to run the loop. The loop is stopped. So I'm going to here in, in this step. So it is showing temp data, print temp data. So temp is now on the top of 10. So if I want to print temp data, it will print 10. And as the last line of this loop, end will come on the top of temp. So end will come here. Okay, so now if I go to the while loop again, so it is saying end not equals to head. No, not true. End is now head. End and head are same. So this condition is false. End not equals to head. It is not true anymore. End equals to equals to head now. So we will stop. And meanwhile, we have already printed 40, 30, 20, 10. The link list in a reverse way. 
if you are still not clear i will i will request you to just rewind back for a few minutes and just listen to the algorithm listen to the dry run once again so we need two loops here we need two loops here to print a linked list in reverse way we cannot do it using one loop because in the normal display one loop is enough you can see but in the reverse display we need two loop because linked list in linked list we cannot go reverse when we will learn double linked list in the in the future chapters we can see we can print reversely using single loop because in double linked list we can go forward and the backward as well but in normal linked list we cannot go backward it is always forward so that's why we need something like end to point out like okay up to this thing i have already printed okay and i need another extra loop to iterate the same thing multiple times and that is how the reverse display works i know it is bit complicated but again we need to know this and this is the most complicated part we are learning after that it will be easier for you from the next class onwards as i have mentioned so if i just create one linked list by my name and let me insert few values like 10 20 30 40 50 let me clear the drawing for the time being so i have inserted 10 let me insert 20 let me insert 30 just i'm checking if my logic is working fine or not or if i did any mistakes or not because no one should remember this code you have to write this code in front of the interviewer and obviously code is not history or geography topic you, if you remember that it will be just a waste of wastage of time so 10 20 30 40 is being printed so if i click on reverse display where is reverse display yeah here it is so it should print the reverse 40 30 20 10 it is not doing anything permanently it is not reversing it permanently it is just printing so if i now print again the normal display it should again print 10 20 30 40 so that's the logic of printing something in a reverse way but now as a last question for this class the last question if anyone ask for the really reversing and linked list if it is it is a requirement to make it reverse do not print it reverse make it really reverse i really want 40 to come at the first place i really want 30 to come at the second place then 20 then 10 what will what will happen how we can achieve that so now if i bring back that uh, diagram it will going to help us to achieve this so here what will i do i'm going to take another head suppose it is head 2 so i will perform it is very simple actually if you reuse our logic it will be very simple so if i just delete from beginning do you remember the logic of deleting from beginning so while doing delete from beginning we just we, we were just moving the head from first position to the second here we are just moving the head to the second position and we are this we are removing the link between first node and the second node and here my point comes i can introduce another head to where i will do insert at beginning so 10 will be a part of head to now again next again if i want to delete from beginning so head will be moved to the next node and the pointer between these two 20 and 30 will be removed and here in head 2 i will do insert at beginning so what will happen 20 the newly added node will point out to 10 and head will be coming to 20 so here i'm doing insert at beginning again these things will be done like head will move to the next node delete from beginning and insert at beginning the same logic so i'm deleting first from the beginning 
and as per the logic of insert at beginning 30 will point out to 20 the current head or head 2 whatever you call and head 2 will move to the current node and this way until head becomes null we will do this thing delete from head delete from beginning for head and insert at beginning for head 2 let's explore the same thing here okay if i just go back um, to the previous step just to explore what i'm doing just to write the code if i just go to the previous format yeah here it is so now um, what will i do first let me let me let me go here okay let me clear the drawing for the time being yeah so it is something like they are asking for physically reverse so if i just put a new node here and if i just copy this line first few lines physically reverse they are asking for physically reverse let me write the name physically reverse not display or something just i'm trying to do a reverse so if head is null i can say list is empty or you can skip that as well let it be null uh, when there will be no change then so i'm going to introduce something like head two this time and let it be null at the starting so now i'm going to copy delete from beginning code where is delete from beginning code delete from beginning i'm just going to copy that simply here it is let me copy this and let me put this in our physical reverse where is physical reverse where is physical reverse here it is so forget about node uh, head to so i'm just putting something as temp let me draw the same here yeah so what i'm doing i'm putting temp here instead of head i'm putting temp here as per the first line then here what i'm doing temp equals to head so temp equals to head we did head equals to head next so head is this is the process of delete from beginning we have already done that in our first link list class i'm just revising that thing i have just copied in front of you so head is moving to the next node and then what i'm doing temp next equals to null so temp next equals to null means the link between temp and head will be gone so these four lines i'm doing i'm not going to print something is deleted because our purpose is not to make something deleted so i'm just deleting these two lines so now i need to add this temp into head two okay so that will be delete that will be insert at beginning so let me copy the code of insert at beginning where is the code of insert at beginning here it is insert at beginning and i want to copy these two lines and i guess that will be enough if i go back to physically reverse and if i copy this two line so first line is the newly added node here it is temp not box anymore because i'm not adding something from outside so here it is temp so temp dot next equals to head so that means head here it will be not head anymore it will be head 2 a newly added head so temp next will point out to head head 2 is null basically so it will point to nothing for the time being and head 2 will become temp head 2 will become temp so now head 2 will sit on the first node where the temp is there if i do this once again if i do this once again let's explore so if i do this once again these four steps node temp temp equals to head so i'm basically doing delete from beginning here i'm doing delete from beginning from head and here basically these two line is i have copied for insert at beginning for head two okay so temp equals to head so temp will come here at 20 so head equals to head next so head will move forward you can see and 
as a last line of delete from beginning temp next equals to null that means i'm going to remove this node okay so now i will do the insert at beginning for head 2 so temp next equals to head 2 so temp is now on 20 so i'm just going to point it to head 2 so current head 2 is 10 so i'm just going to point it to 10 and now head 2 will move forward and head 2 will become 10 so head 2 will now sit on 20 so look i have already reversed 20 and 10 so now these steps will happen multiple times until head becomes null these steps will be happening multiple times until the head go into the ground so until the head becomes null i'm going to reiterating this step so again temp temp will start from head let me draw very quickly temp will start from here head will go to the next step look so head will go to the next node and temp next equals to null that means this link will be removed and now i will add this temp into head 2 as insert at beginning so temp next equals to head 2 now so temp next will be head 2 and head will come to temp head 2 will come to temp you can see so head 2 will come here again as a last step temp equals to head head is yet not null yet it not become null so temp equals to head temp will go here i'm just showing you the full dry run i'm taking some time to make it uh, understandable so i'm just completing the full dry run so temp equals to head head will go to the next node that is basically null head become null so because there is nothing else left in this link list so next temp next equals to null so temp next equals to null it is already null you can make it again null that that, that doesn't matter so temp equals to null so now how i can insert this newly added node at the starting of head 2 the same logic temp next equals to head 2 so i'm going to link it with head 2 so obviously it will no more be null so let's let me take a look if i can remove the null yeah so temp next equals to now head 2 and head 2 will come on the top of temp so head 2 is now something like this so you can see it is 40 30 20 10 so head 2 is like that so now next turn head is becoming null already so i am not going to do this thing anymore so head i will do this thing until head is not null but here head becomes null so i'm not going to move forward so loop is ended but the problem is no one knows head 2 all my other functions are dependent on head no one knows head 2 you can see if i go up all the functions knows head no one knows head 2 head 2 is a local variable that is introduced inside the function whereas head was introduced in a class level it was not a part of any function if i go up you can see head was a class member it was not introduced inside the inside any function it was outside the function it is on the class level you can see so that means no, that is the problem no one knows head 2 so what to do now so what i will do as a final step head will be head 2 head will take all the things from head 2 again like a like a hero in bollywood movies so head will take everything back from head 2 so head will be assigned again as a head 2 so here i will put head again so obviously after the function will be over no one will know head 2 head 2 will be disappeared so now head 2 is again pointing to that reverse node 40 30 20 10 okay i actually draw it in reverse way Other, actually it will be like 40 will come first then it will point to the next node 30 then it will point to the next node 20 then it will point to the next node 20 okay no one someone might be uh, thinking like okay i'm going backward no i'm not going backwards here as well you cannot go back from 10 to 20 you can come from 20 to 10 actually the drawing will be something different the drawing should look like something like 40 comes first then 30 then 20 then 10 
but I'm not good at drawing. It will take a lot of time for me to draw all those things. That's why I'm doing it in a reverse way. As I have entered into head. So I'm not, I'm not going to change anything. So that's all. If I compile and if I run this program. Okay, let me clear this drawing. I hope you are okay with that. So just let me test if it is working fine or not. So if I just insert something like 10, insert something like 20, insert something like 30, insert something like 40. And if I display, it will be 10, 20, 30, 40, obviously as expected. So now I'm going to do physically reverse. So actually those things will be reversed. Something happened. I don't know what happened. Now, if I display again, I'm not clicking on reverse display. I'm clicking on the normal display. And you can see this has been reversed. Normally reversed. Okay, it is not a reverse printing. Okay, so that's how we can physically reverse our link list. Okay, these are, I know these are the toughest topics you are going through. But after doing this, I think the previous topics like insert at beginning, insert at ending, those will become easier for you. Okay, so let's see what will happen in the next class. But keep trying all these programs. Keep trying by yourself. Then only you will be able to write your own program. If you if you think like if you are going through all these things and you will be able to learn, that is not a good thing. So you have to try all the exercises I have prescribed. So I, I hope you know the where we can find the exercise. It is mentioned in the first class. Otherwise, you can follow these links as well. So if you are facing any still any doubts or any questions that you are not able to answer given by your school or given by your college regarding link list, just share that in our comment section. We will try to answer you somehow. Okay. And if you are not clear with uh, some codes or some codes are not running, uh, which is uh, which I have used here, if some codes are not running, also paste that code in the comment section. We will try to take a look where where you are doing the mistake or why why it is not running okay but keep practicing keep practicing then only you will be able to write your programs in link list and that's all for the day uh, from next class i would expect you can write your first program by yourself so until now whatever we have done just try to understand and after that try to write by yourself okay so that's all for the day bye see you again soon